And welcome back. Right now, let's go back out to Joy, living large on the west side. That's right. It looks like the doors are about to open on an exciting new concept. Joy? <laughs> Yeah, it, not too long they will actually have doors on this place, but the doors kind of sort of will be open this week, and actually they will be here at Metro Eats. I want to introduce you to my friend Christina Shellhart. She is the brainchild behind Metro Eats. Okay, try to encapsulate what Metro Eats is. I will do my best in okay. a nutshell without yeah. taking five hours to explain everything. So I started off in food service when I was a kid in Coal Camp, Missouri. And I then, when I graduated high school, I moved to California and got involved in a huge restaurant group. They had over nine different concepts. They had Hilton Hotels. So I got involved in all those openings and I was there till 37 years old. Decided I wanted to move back to Missouri. Good for you. But not to Cold Camp. One Good for us. To uh -huh. And I started doing farmer's markets here and I fell in love with it. Okay. Um, the most amazing vendors great venues and I just really really wanted for the vendors to be able to sell year round. We were kind of at the mercy of the weather if it rained or started pouring or it was snowy. Right. Or, so I really wanted to focus on something indoors. Okay hence the big building we're in right now. If you wouldn't mind handing me this we have a little bit of an artist's rendering here to show you. Now this is your concept. How many acres have we got going on here? We have 10 acres on this piece. All of this is encompassing 10 acres. It goes back here a little bit more. It's a 10 acre piece. Okay Sunshine Street is up here. Yes. We are in this building currently with your Metro Eats food truck soon to be open. Yes. But now what is going to happen over here? This is where your food truck park will be, correct? Yes. So we're in phase one right now. We're going to start rolling with the farmer's market. Then we still move into the ending of phase one. That's food trucks. We have seven food trucks that are going to come out here. We have something called the train freeze frame. This is going to have Missouri ice cream in it. It's Ooh. got honey in the ice cream. It is made in Missouri, Missouri honey. You'll be able to take a picture over here too with the engineer. Then we go into our cargo containers. These cargo containers are all being redone and they're going to have a train theme, which is why I call this Metro Eats. So this first one right here is a regular bakery. It's 417 Cakes. This is gonna be whipped creamed and other delights in this one. This is a vegan and plant-based dairy. They even make the skits and gravy and it's phenomenal. My goodness, and I think Chris can actually spin around and show you where some of these are yes. right now. What else have we got going on over there? The third one is a boutique. It's all things girly. And this number four is going to be called the Caboose. As in B-O-O-Z-E. Yes, we started painting her red. Ah. Reason. Okay. And there will be service holes cut in there where you will be able to get a drink. And that's our outside bar there. So these are all rented and we're waiting to get those ready to go. We have to move them back and we're going to anchor them for permanent foundation. There'll be a boardwalk down it. Right behind them, we're going to have an amphitheater going off there for all kinds of entertainment. Live music? Yes. Live okay. music. We want to do stuff with the Springfield um, Little Theater. We'd love to have comedy. We want to do all kinds of stuff out here. Okay. We have a big artist blocks over there, too. Those are going to be for rent out there, those big, huge blocks. You can actually come in as an artist and paint them. You have four eight by six canvases, and that sounds interesting to any artists out there. So this is a family entertainment park. Yes, it is. I would start off calling it a farmer's market, mm -hmm. a food truck park, as well as a family outdoor event center. We're very much focused on outside and educational agriculture. We have beehives in the back. We'll be pulling our own honey. So okay, all right, beehives out in the back because you do honey. I do. You do infused honeys and you can pick those up. Why this piece of property here on West Sunshine? What did you see about the west side of town? I, there's nothing over here. The come and go is absolutely slammed at lunch. It's pretty crazy. There's not even grocery stores here. So I live in Battlefield when I first moved here 10 years ago. I now live right on the line of Battlefield. And I just love Republic, Willard. All the growth is going on out here. I mm -hmm. think there's 6,000 houses coming in out here. and. I think the west side needs some love. Um, yeah. The response we've received from people off the website is incredible. Every day people just saying, hi, welcome, we want to see you out here. We get over 75 cars a minute coming by, 40,000 a day. It's Republic, it's Willard. We even have Mount Vernon joining us. Did I tell Fantastic. you she was an entrepreneurial business type? Yes, remember I was mentioning that earlier. Amazing what you've got going on out here. now. We're going to take another break, but when we come back, we're going to go see some of the items, just a fraction of the items that you're going to see this weekend at the Farmer's Market here on Metro 8. So, guys, back to you. The West Side Sounds does good. need some love. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah.